Welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom. This is week eight, lesson five of your daily kindergarten phonics. Rhyme time. A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words, like the ig sound, a pig, dig, and wig. Repeat after me, fig, rig. Do you hear the ig sound and fig and rig? Those words rhyme. Now it's time to practice. Listen, as I say two rhyming words, I want you to give me a thumbs up if the words rhyme and a thumbs down if they don't. Hug, bug. Thumbs up. Map, tap. Thumbs up. Slip, slap. Thumbs down. Dip, clip. Thumbs up. Jet, jam. Thumbs down. All right, let's listen for the first sound in the word, beginning sounds. Dive. What sound do you hear at the beginning of dive? Say the sound, not the letter. Duh. Very good. Now I'm going to say three words and you're going to say them back to me and then you're going to tell me what you hear at the beginning of each word. Repeat after me. Teacher, tooth, talk. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? T. Repeat after me. Hose, hand, holiday. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? <sighs> Repeat after me. Gate, gobble, gone. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? G. Repeat after me. Cake, candy, cookie. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? K. Repeat after me. Sat, simple, silly. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? S. Very nice. All right, blending to make words. Blending to make words means putting parts of a word together to make a word. Ba s bus. Do you hear the two parts? Ba s bus. Now you try it. Repeat after me. Ba s bus. Great. Now let's practice. Repeat after me. Boot boot. Good job. Repeat after me. Ba k buck. Repeat after me. Cake cake. Repeat after me. Get get. Repeat after me. Seat seat. Nice job. Now let's listen for ending sounds. Listen for the last sound you hear in the word. Rabbit. What sound do you hear at the end of rabbit? Say the sound, not the letter. T. Good job. All right, let's practice. Repeat after me. Tip. What sound do you hear at the end of tip? Repeat after me. Guess. What sound do you hear at the end of guess? S. Repeat after me. Light. What sound do you hear at the end of light? T. Repeat after me. Cave. 
What sound do you hear at the end of cave? V. Repeat after me. Pick. What sound do you hear at the end of pick? K. Repeat after me. Buzz. What sound do you hear at the end of buzz? Zzz. Nice job. All right, let's practice segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down in smaller parts. Now we will break, break words down into two parts. Fat, f, at. Do you hear the two parts in fat? You try it, practice, repeat after me. Fat, f, at. Excellent. Now let's practice. Repeat after me. Get. G. Et. Good job. Repeat after me. Seat. S. Eat. Good job. Repeat after me. Sack. S. Ack. Repeat after me. Hoot. Oot. Good job. Repeat after me. Peach. Now you try and break it into two parts. P. Each. All right, let's add to the beginning of a word. We can change sounds at the beginning of words to make new words. Say ug. Add er at the beginning, and the word is rug. All right, let's practice. Say am. Add b to the beginning, and the word is bam. Say am. Add h to the beginning, and the word is ham. Say am. Add j to the beginning and the word is jam. Say am. Add er to the beginning and the word is ram. Say am. Add ter to the beginning and the word is Tram. Very good. All right, now let's take away a sound. We can take away a sound from a word and say what is left. Say chin. Without the ch, what is left? In. Nice job. All right, let's practice. Say bam. Without the b, what's left? Am. Say ham. Without the h, what is left? Am. Say jam. Without the j, what is left? Am. Say ram. Without the er, what is left? Am. Say tram. Without the ter, what is left? Am. Nice job. All right, let's change syllables or sounds. We can change a syllable or a sound to make a new word. Say sat. Change the s to f, and the word is fat. All right, let's practice. Say mop. Change the m to t, and the word is Top. Say top. Change the t to dr, and the word is drop. Say drop. Change the dr to full, and the word is flop. Say flop. Change the full to h, and the word is. Hop. 
say hop. Change the h to b, and the word is bop. Nice job. Let's learn the alphabet. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. Are you ready? Let's go. What is the letter? F. What is the sound? F. What is the letter? H. What is the sound? What is the letter? C. What is the sound? K. What is the letter? B. What is the sound? B. What is the letter? D. What is the sound? D. What is the letter? G. What is the sound? G. What is the letter? L. What is the sound? L. What is the letter? A. What is the sound? A. What is the letter? V. What is the sound? V. What is the letter? I. What is the sound? I. What is the letter? K. What is the sound? What is the letter? P. What is the sound? P. What is the letter? E. What is the sound? E. What is the letter? N. What is the sound? N. What is the letter? J. What is the sound? J. What is the letter? Q. What is the sound? Qua. What is the letter? R. What is the sound? R. What is the letter? S. What is the sound? S. What is the letter? U. What is the sound? U. Uh. What is the letter? M. What is the sound? M. Mm. What is the letter? O. What is the sound? Ah. What is the letter? Z. What is the sound? Z. What is the letter? W. What is the sound? W. What is the letter? X. What is the sound? X. What is the letter? T. What is the sound? T. What is the letter? Y. What is the sound? Y. Sight word practice. On each slide, there will be a sight word.
you will have three seconds to say the sight word before we move to the next word. A. The. Two. R. R. A. And. A. The. Two. Now it's time to work with nursery rhymes with your teacher. Your teacher will say a line. You will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Count how many words are in each line. Circle the sight words. Count the syllables in the words and underline the rhyming words. Teachers, pause the video so that you can do this activity with your class. Thank you for working along with the Awesome Possum Classroom. See you tomorrow.